Okay, just gonna go over this video of, uh, or this clip, whatever, of, uh, sorry, it's coming my chair over, of uh, Brian Dillinger basically whining about having to do day-to-day -day tasks. And I'm doing this kind of video because uh, I do believe this is how Brian Dillinger guilt trips his people to send him their money. And obviously it is scriptural to support a full-time ministry. But you see, Brian, he, he lives off donations and he has to find a way to get donation to get money. Okay, I'm not saying it's all about money, but that's the impression he gives off when he starts doing stuff like this. Just going to read off a couple verses of scripture real quick. Uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 10. For even, for even when we, sorry, for even when we were with you, not good at reading on computer, for even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should he eat. Okay. So Brian Dillinger, a lot of the work that he does is not ministry related stuff. It's personal things like, like stuff he does for himself it's not even you know a lot of the stuff that donation money gets spent on is not on like ministry related type of of work or you know labor essentially uh first tim oops clicked out of the app by accident let me just make sure i'm still going uh first or sorry first timothy chapter five and verse eight but if any if any provide not for his own Especially, and especially for those of his own house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Okay, It's man's job to provide for his family. That's simple. And I'm not saying Brian Dillinger doesn't do that, but when he starts complaining about everyday you know, labor and, and everyday house tasks and everyday complications you might go through, like this, that's the impression he gives off. So I'm going to play this video. So the two scriptures I read was uh, 2 Thessalonians 3.10 and... First Timothy five eight. Those are the scriptures I wanted to read. But this video, it's on a, it's a clip. Someone, it's a clip from channel uploaded. Uh, it's called Brian. I think it winds about day to day tasks. Just gonna play it and give some commentary over it. Um, just to tell you a little story here, um, just to give you one update. A lot of you know about this already, but we had our problem problem with our pellet stove, our wood pellet stove. It died. It had the, the auger motor died on it. And so uh, there was just no option. I had to go out and get another pellet stove. And, um, and we just had all kinds of problems with the, with the new pellet stove. I bought that one wait, to wait for the parts to come because the parts take about a week to come in. And uh, we had all kinds of problems with the other pellet stove and uh, tried everything. It was basically the, the exhaust pipe my exhaust pipe that I have on the house here was not really compatible with I don't want to get into a whole big thing the vacuum system on the other pellet stove uh, trying to avoid a lot of the technical stuff here but we had a terrible time of it and so we were dealing with a very cold house because it was sub-zero a lot of times and, and things and thankfully the Lord warmed it up for us you know we had a couple days of actually get up into the 40s and then 50 degrees in one day now keep in mind too, a lot of the stuff he says he bought and stuff he said he bought from the store or whatever is from his subscribers' donation money. And again, it is scriptural to support a full-time ministry. But you read Acts chapter, let me go to that scripture. Acts chapter 18 and verse 3, I think it is. Acts 18 verse 3. Paul actually, I'll start at verse 1. Paul actually had a job, okay? Acts 18 verse, I'll start at verse 1. Acts chapter 18 verse 1. After these things, Paul departed from Athens and came to Corinth and found a certain Jew named Aquilia, I hope I'm saying that right, born in Pontus, uh, lately come from Italy, and his wife uh, Priscilla, uh, because that Claudius had commanded all Jews to depart from Rome and came unto them. Verse 3, here's where the thing, is, the job is mentioned. And because uh, he was of the same craft, he had abode with them and wrought, for by their occupation they were tent makers. Okay? They had the same craft. Why? Because they were tent makers. Okay? They actually had a job. They worked. Okay? Paul and this other guy, Aquila, they were both tent makers. So that's what they, they could relate over that. Okay? Then you go to verse 4, and he reasoned in the synagogue every Sabbath and persuaded the Jews and the Greeks because uh, they were reasoning with them out of the scriptures. But you see, verse 3. They mentioned the job Paul had. He was a tent maker. Verse 4, Paul is doing ministry work. He's going to the synagogue and reasoning with the Jews out of the scriptures. Not out of Catholic tradition. It's not out of church creeds. The word of God, the scriptures. What is my cat doing? Cat is just goofing around in the background. 
just have to point that out, but continuing. Uh, so, you know, we got through that time and finally get the parts, finally come in for the our main stove. And uh, I opened up the parts and there was three parts that I had to order. One of them was absolutely necessary. The other two I thought, well, I better replace them while I'm at it because I know that they're having some issues and I better just replace everything. And uh, the one part that I needed, the auger motor, was not in the shipment. So I call up the place and I'm saying, you know, where's the auger motor? Oh, we're very sorry, sir. We didn't, we forgot to send that. I'm very, very. These are problems people go through. These are complications and issues and, and you know, hardships people go through on almost a daily basis. I mean, I guarantee you if every single family in the world were to do a video on the, these kind of problems, YouTube would just be filled with this kind of stuff. Okay, these are problems and complications that families go through on a regular, consistent basis. Okay, it's it's just called life. It's just called normal, average, you know, life. You you labor, you have hardships. But, but Brian Brian's making it seem like oh, you know, look at me, I'm doing all this stuff. Look at me, you know, I'm trying to get the new pellet stove. I'm trying to heat my house, and you know, you could just buy a heater, you know, heat your house that way, or you know, you could. Again, nothing wrong with living off grid, but again, he tries to, he tries to guilt trip and you know, manipulate his followers into living off grid, living the sort of the assortment of lifestyle that he likes to live, which you know not everyone is in the financial, physical, mental, or just overall position to where they can do that, to where they can just pack up, drop everything, and just move their family across, you know, counties or whatever, move their family wherever to go live off grid. But again, it's a whole other issue. I did a video on that, covering that subject. But these are problems people go through and complications people go through all the time. Okay, there was one time when I was doing some work and I, I cut my finger, you know, with, with a uh, X-Acto knife. I cut my finger and I had to get a band-aid in my finger. The cut was really deep too. I had to get really a band-aid. I had to wash the thing out, disinfect it, you know, all that stuff. I didn't go on YouTube and make a video whining and, you know, just complaining about it. Ridiculous very sorry it's kind of weird why you know i'm thinking yeah you know sure this is great so we're still waiting for that um but uh you can probably hear my voice is a little bit scratchy we um we all had colds because of the thing of just you know the cold temperatures in, in the house here wow i mean I've, I've had fevers too there was one time where i actually i actually when i was um when i was you know, i was 17 years old i actually had two fevers when i was 17 years old two high temperature fevers and i actually you know, vomited one time. I didn't go on YouTube and make a video about it. Oh, look, I had, to, I had a fever. I was in bed all day, laying, laying sick and unhealthy and unable to physically move and that kind of stuff. I mean, those both times where I had a fever, I, I was I was physically sick. I was just, I was, you know, I just physically could not even get out of bed. I was just mentally, you know, I had a really bad headache, you know, all that stuff. I didn't go to YouTube and say, you see, now my, my pain receptors are, are causing me to do this, and I had a fever all day. No, it just called going through basic life. You know? Ridiculous. Trying to keep rooms warm with electric heaters and the, uh, you know, and again, this is, I mean, I, I mean, I, I've, I've, had, I've had to, you know, heat up an area I was sitting in with electric heaters too. And there are times where even the power would go out too. I've had times where I would try to, heat something a room i mean it's funny all these things that brian goes through i can like share a similar experience and yeah i've never once made a video on youtube talking about this stuff this is the first time i've ever mentioned this but there was one time where i was staying somewhere in the countryside and you know the power box was not very good the power box was actually kind of it didn't have a good fuse in it and there was a couple times where i tried to heat my room and the fuse and the power box would would uh, go out so i had to keep turning the thing back on and you know had had to had they got to the point where I could only have like you know heaters in one room at one point or else the fuse would go out and it would over it would overwhelm essentially over drive the power system and it's like did I go on YouTube and make a video whining about it like oh no the fuse in my power box is gone out you know send me money just foolish nonsense literally went down I did a real good cleaning real thorough cleaning of our stove and part of that you know um, I, I didn't knock any wires loose or anything because I always check all that, make sure everything's all connected and everything's clean and good. And uh, I was going to do that. I'm going to go down to the property. I had my notes ready. I had everything ready. Going to go down to the property. Going to get a study done. You know. Um. 
one more experience. There was actually one time where I was heading home from a class and the the bus stop, the bus was really late because of, of really bad weather conditions and the road w had not been plowed yet and it was basically it was just covered in ice and snow and it was just really bad driving and weather conditions and, visi and visibility conditions were not very good either. And I, I got home like an hour late. But again, I didn't make a YouTube video whining about it. Uh, continuing, not much more left. You know, do some preaching outdoors and whatever in the snow, and you know, all planned out. And boom, the stove dies. And then I'm spending all day instead of working in the ministry. I'm spending all day going here and there, trying to find parts locally, trying to find this and that. <laughs> yeah, and who, who is financially supporting that? Where is his finance coming from? His um, subscribers who send him money. You see, Brian Dillinger has to do stuff like this because I don't rely on the body of Christ for income, for finances. Brian Dillinger does. So he has to find a way to keep to, to keep the uh, donation support and the financial support and the you know money coming. And it's been, you know, weeks now. And so still waiting on the auger motor, but thankfully the Lord is, is uh, did a, a miraculous thing. Um, one of our local tractor supply stores they sell the st pellet stove, the model that we have that we like, and um, and so I was thinking about ordering one, and thought, no, it's going to take too long, and whatever. Well, here we went in the other day, and here's the exact stove that we have sitting there. Um, it needed work, and I said to the guy, you know, what's wrong with it? He said, well, we can't, you know, we tried to start, it won't start. We don't know what's going on. It was half price. I mean, the thing was basically brand new but just didn't work and had some scuff marks on it and whatever else so um, we bought it and brought it home all it was was a switch the little dial that you turn on and off and um, so I was able to replace take the part off the old stove put it on we have heat again as of yesterday <laughs> okay I mean I mean this is just funny so first of all why did you have to tell us subscribers this you know it's like why? Well, again, it goes back to the thing. He's got to keep the finances and the income coming through donations. You know, and am I saying that that's the motive? I'm not accusing him of that, but could that be a possible motive? I don't know. You know, there is a lot of you know. I mean, there was a one time where he did a 40 minute long video lecturing his subscribers about how they have to send him more money, which he did take down the video, but there's there's reuploads of it on YouTube. Just you know, just weird day um we have heat now uh and so what a blessing no i guess it was actually two days it was the evening of the, the night that we had gotten the stove so um really a blessing but you know a lot of this stuff i just i'm mentioning this well and, and keep in mind too this video was was that this clip was taken from a video called i believe it was called the uh, youtube psalm and literally the video is 30 minutes over 30 minutes long and like only six minutes only six minutes of a 30 minute video is he actually talking about the youtube psalm which was psalm psalms 12. the rest of it he's just going off about his hardships and everyday struggles you know this this is supposed to be a full-time ministry sure because a lot of this you don't see and so you'll see, oh, Brother Brian was going to come out with a video, and he was going to come out with this, and he was going to say, he said he was going to do this. There's a lot of stuff that we deal with, okay? Spiritual warfare. All stuff that I deal with, too, you know? I don't come up and make a video about it every single time. There type of stuff that you just, it just, right in the middle of, I'm going to do this work, boom, something happens like that. And that's the end of the clip. I mean, just weird. How he how has to, to tell his subscribers. You know what he go, what basically daily hardships and and you know struggles he goes through. Like I said, I have struggles all the time, and I'll make a video about it, just saying, "Oh, look, look what I go through." Just kind of shows a level of laziness and just a level of just you know, I don't know. I'm just I'm just nodding off right now. I can't think of the proper words, but I'm kind of tired right now. But it's getting pretty laid out. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to show you guys that just ridiculous, and I had to do a little commentary on that just. To get it off my chest. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.